I want this language to be a, a a language that you can optimize even more than C. Where C where C fails in optimization is aliasing. Aliasing removes a ton, removes a ton of uh of optimizations that you can do. You can do you can, small optimizations like a, a lesion of, of loads. Uh, but there's also big optimizations that you miss out in C, which is a um, which is uh things like um. Uh, like SIMD, you you lose out on SIMD. So what I want to do is uh, I wrote something down here. Where is it? Is it syntax? Compilation strategy is that here? Anyway, I just want to steal this real quick. Steal this, paste. All right, I'm gonna run O three on this. Okay, this may look like a big function. Like there's some uh, right here. There's some XMM registers. So this is some SIMD code uh, here. So this whole function with O3 expands into unrolled SIMD, but it's not just unrolled SIMD. It's actually two different sections. One is the unrolled SIMD, and there's a second section which is just normal uh, byte by byte or int by int by int by int. So that's the, so that so this function has a vector representation and a scalar representation. And when you call into a function, it'll check, does A, B, and C alias? If they don't alias, it'll jump to the vector. If, it, if they do alias, it'll jump to the scalar. And that's how it preserves uh, C semantics. But, and if I spammed, uh, let me go to the CFG. See how here, there's this big code block for vector. And here is a small code block for scalar. Let's see if I put restrict, spam restrict here. Uh, you can see the code things change. Uh, spam restrict. All right, now it's just a it's just a single path for vector. What if you could What if you could make these? Uh, you know how when uh, in languages they force immutability by default. Modern languages like Rust uh, force immutability by default, and you have to explicitly pass mut. What in new What if in new languages? Uh, by default, there is no aliasing. By default, there is no aliasing. In Zig, that's what they're trying to do, and they're failing because there is no there is no well-defined aliasing semantics or errors in the language. There's none of these specific uh, things that I'm trying to do, specifically with um, these like nested slices of memory, this whole typed aliasing model, things like this. Right? Um, at the end of the day, aliasing is basically the final frontier of optimizations, right? If you know these things don't alias, uh, you can generate, you can start generating vector code. So I want to make restrict pointers default in the language. I want to make restrict pointers default. And then you can explicitly mark things as to alias in the language. And I say, that's how it should be. Just, just how people say things should be immutable by default. Everything should not be aliasing by default. You want to fall back to C semantics, that's fine. You can write specific specifiers to fall back to C semantics. Like, uh, I, I don't know, I think I'm do going to do a uni, or I'm going to do like a uh, address of uni, or address of unknown. I'm already doing address of plus, which means create a new region from malloc. But uh, address of that probably means uni, which means uh, C aliasing semantics. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, this language is going to be more optimizable than C because I'm removing these uh, aliasing stuff. And just how people say mutability, uh, just how people say immutability should be default, I say there's no aliasing by default. That's just my thoughts. Uh, and that's what I'm adding to my language. Uh, and that's what no other language is doing. Uh, and to end on that, I say uh, stream's over.